Like I was in a grocery store and I saw a, a woman and she had a little baby and he was eating like an apple, like right from the store. Like they hadn't even bought it yet. And he just, he was eating it and he had like this little blonde hair and he was just so like tiny and cute. And the feeling that came over me was so great. Like it just, it overwhelmed my heart. I, I felt like I wanted to just lay down on the floor and cry tears of joy because he he was just bringing like so much love and joy into me just by me witnessing him, right? And then there's sometimes where I'll listen to a certain song and I feel that way. I want to just lay down on the floor and just let all of the joy and love like pour into me because that's what I'm feeling. And I almost like I almost can't even stand because it's it's so powerful. And then sometimes I listen to like a com- like a comedy. Like um, I really like stand up comedy. And sometimes something so funny and and hilarious it's just it you know it just it makes me want to just fall down and just take all the joy in and I don't know I'm guessing my question is uh, like what uh, um, like why are certain things such an avenue for us to find those moments and then other avenues sometimes maybe like, I know it's available at all times. I, I know that. So, I don't even know what my question is. We I, know. I, what you're looking <laughs> to understand is why giving attention to something feels like a quantum leap, feels like a spike that I now release it all and have this ecstasy of the experience. And sometimes that's more of a steady experience. This is where just on the heels of a previous conversation of saying that when you build some kind of question within you and then you use something that you know or something that feels so steady like that wonderful baby eating an apple got you into to experience the big 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 change now that big change that you're experiencing it's not the prize to have in this and every other physical iteration you're not looking to bottle up so many questions so then you can release that and have such a wonderful, completely opposite, outrageous joy lying on the floor at all times. In other words, those moments inevitably happen. But the reason why they're happening with certain activities and you know which one can get you there is for you to do them when you're in a place where you cannot do it more gradually. In other words, there are certain tools that can get you to do it consistently or gradually to move from that place of question into the tipping point so you can go and receive the answers. And sometimes you bottle up these questions so much that you need to go into the place of ease and satisfaction rather quickly by watching the baby laugh. In other words, your attention is going sometimes million miles an hour. And when you start softening up the movement, we're not saying to stop intensity of your preciseness or specificity of what you're observing but once you stop really start making more balance about redirecting your focus from one thing to another when you're not looking to consistently have quantum leap after quantum leap after quantum leap after quantum leap when it comes to even your emotional scale that way then you will see the gradual experience of your life and how everything is satisfying how that movement from the place of of really observing something into ecstasy which feels like that quantum leap feels equally satisfying as a comfortable steady ride through all of your emotions and then you're really the one seeing how much you go and and how many pebbles you put in your shoe based off of how steady you feel in the moment because that is the only way to recreate that within your experience at any given time you want well i just love you enough to be stubborn right now and i want to say that the feeling that i got from that little boy eating that apple 
is what I want to feel all the time because that's it, this is my life and I don't want to be told that I have to in any moment have anything less than what that felt like and the way to get to that is but not ex not by not expecting to eliminate discovery in other words discovery is what can get you that consistency not you getting to the place and holding on to it that is the big difference that is what we're talking about because if you were to find it already as you say you did not to find it already that in a that satisfying way you want to have those moments of ecstasy in every experience that you give your attention to and therefore you do not need outside preferences to be making that for you in other words you do not need that those tools to shift you in those big experiences we are saying everything about what you said just moments ago we are saying we want you to get to that place that is a big desire for for your experience and everyone else's experience to find that steadiness to be so steady that everything feels and it's filled with the ecstasy we're just talking about the amount of questions that you do not need to pile up in order to have that in other words you can have ecstasy in every moment in time as a part of the steady wave versus spiking experience and there is a huge huge difference in that that yeah i get i do i get it and so my last bit would be are you telling me that the child eating the apple i actually used that internally as a tool to find that moment of the feeling that i desire your place of ecstasy your movement that you're looking for has been described by you by a huge movement and what we're saying is that you can oscillate in the place of curiosity to ecstasy curiosity to ecstasy curiosity to ecstasy in other words it does not have to be a bigger movement than that it can be curiosity to ecstasy at all times and therefore you're not really looking to lay down on the floor and burst from joy because you cannot believe that that's happening at that moment right now but you're just so steady about it because it is happening at all times I, I like I like laying down on the floor and bursting in joy then is, is that is that wrong <laughs> then when you are bursting down on the floor and enjoy and if this is your steady place you might not want to get up for any of those additional spikes and giving attention to anything else in other words you cannot deny yourself discovery and you can just choose the range of the emotions and the amounts of the questions being asked before you receive that which you call experience of of thrill and bliss and joy what we're trying to say is that regardless of what you give your experience to whatever is the tool whether it's a boy eating a, an apple or the song that you like to play or driving your car whatever is satisfying to you gets you from the place of some kind of curiosity to the place of tipping point for you to experience bliss and that is really how far any tool including this tool that you're having now in this conversation can get you from because that last step of that bliss is always yours so you do not need a person or anyone else to give your attention to once you understand that those tools that you have within you can be at all times changed and that sometimes you do not even need the tool in order to feel it because you're in the vicinity of that which you call satisfaction yeah yeah that that's that's i like it it's all internal it's always going to be internal and it comes from me um, oh, thank you. Um, you now. wanting to look into something, once you find the steadiness, we understand more and more steadiness you find, those things and situations of the experiencing bliss are not really as wild in a wild range because you might have been experienced question question for some time and then you move between the question and the answer and now you know what is the other side of the game but at the same yeah. time you want to have within your experience everything to become that wonderful and therefore you're not looking to exclude the questions you're looking to dance with them 
with so much satisfaction that even those moments are feeling brilliant to you? What? I didn't expect to ask this, but it just came now. It, it, it is that feeling where I get flying so high that whenever I take a dip, it's more painful. Like remember Abraham has said, you know, we get tons of people in the hot seat that say, I started meditating and is it normal for all hell to break loose? Because now I'm like literally letting things, like I'm letting myself feel, I'm letting my, you know, I'm like, and so it's like when you get flying so high, like so consistently and you feel steady, when you take a dip, it's actually more detrimental to you than it ever was before because now you've been accustomed to be high. And we are and saying that is only half of your creation experience. That is okay. only half of your creation experience because when you are consistent and when you're steady, you never feel like this is a deep dive and it throws you off. In other words, you're okay. not, you have learned the range. You've learned the range from your unfocus and then focused and you've learned the range from all of your emotions. In other words, you were feeling what you're describing low. We don't really like these high and low words, but we'll go with that. You've been low and then you've been super high and then in your super high you say you're consistent. Well, you're never super high and consistent. You're consistently moving. You're consistently moving, but you never need to dip so much down. You don't need to dip so much down and you never actually continue to dip down when you really feel consistently steady. And that is the other part of the equation process that we're talking about, creation process or other part of the equation of the creation process is that you are the one now navigating the amplitude and the latitude and the softness of the height and how quickly or softly you start moving into. Do you see curiosity on a way to the question or you dunk down immediately into the problem? In other words, what do you see in that place of coming down? Because there is no satisfaction in you reaching the high and staying consistently there. There is no satisfaction in you reaching something which you might feel is absolute satisfaction in being there. It is about you consistently moving and oscillating as the nature of you is and then finding the higher place and then coming down to see what's happening without being thrown off to go and take a deep dive, going down with, in your words to curiosity and coming back to satisfaction and then slight pebble in the shoot back into satisfaction, curiosity again, formulating the question back into the, in other words, you're consistently moving. What we want to make sure you understand is that that is the feeling of what you call flying high. It is not flying high never to go down, but it's flying so consistently and steadily that you do not see the difference between low and the high because all of it has value to you and all of it is available to you for your satisfaction and your satisfaction only. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. As you are.